to Clark University. What's up guys, I'm Natalie for University TV, taking you on another exclusive tour. In 1887, Clark University began as the first all-graduate institution in the U.S. and it's now a world-renowned liberal arts-based research university. Let's go meet the Clarkies. Clark University is located in Worcester, Massachusetts, the heart of New England. Worcester is considered a gateway city, known for its biotechnology research, healthcare, financial services, higher education, and green energy, making it an ideal place for landing the perfect internship or job. Welcome to Worcester, AKA the Woo. Here's a hot tip, your Clark One Card ID, also your Woo Card, so you can take advantage of discounts and specials at your local venues. Want to experience more outdoors? At Wachusett Mountain, you can hike, ski, and snowboard. Clark has a free trip to go snow tubing there every December. So you get a free ride there, and there's a discount since it's a large group of students who go, and you get to go snow tubing with uh, Clarkies. This small New England campus is 50 acres with plenty of green space. The buildings on campus feature Gothic, Brutalist, and green architecture. Most important to me is the student body. Um, the diversity, being that I'm an international student, to me that matters the most, that we have people from all sorts of backgrounds, so just not countries, but ethnicity, but also different interests. The average admitted student profile is a high school GPA of 3.5, with a challenging selection of classes and extracurricular activities. Clark is test optional, but average scores for students submitting the SAT are about 600 each for the critical reading and math scores. Annual tuition costs are around $38,000 a year, with an additional $7,000 per room and board. An impressive 85% of students receive financial aid. Clark offers 32 majors, 31 minors, and 10 interdisciplinary minors, known as concentrations. Clark is especially well known for its psychology, geography, and international development programs. They also have the accelerated BA master's degree program. Students have tremendous opportunity here. As a liberal arts institution, Clark really wants its students to try a little bit of everything. So that's certainly an inside the classroom focus where we ask our students to take a number of different classes that they never imagined that they would be taking. Take a giant leap towards excellence. LEAP, Liberal Education and Effective Practice, is a new model for higher education transforming the way undergraduates learn in the 21st century. LEAP is designed to help you bring those together and to have experiences uh, as an intern, doing a project, working on a research team that will um, help you figure out what your next step is, whether it's career, graduate school, or whatever. One of the greatest things about Clark is our alumni network. Uh, our alumni are constantly coming back to Clark, looking for Clark students or Clarkies um, to, to work for them. A lot of these people are presidents of big companies, they're CEOs, um, and they want Clark students because they know Clark students can do the job that they're looking for them to do. The classrooms here at Clark are uh, entirely student-centered, and uh, this is something that we've been thinking uh, about as a university for the past, uh, let's say, five years or so, where even the traditional lectures now are in some ways transformed into very student-centered, uh, project-driven types of scenarios. This clock provides that classroom where you have dialogue and you get to learn from people from the different cultures and really build on the diversity that I've really enjoyed about Clark. And, and the reason why I love working at Clark is because the students are unbelievable. The relationship I have with students, they are so hungry to learn, they're so interested in, in what's happening around them and passionate about so many different things um, that I think they make this campus community different than other colleges that, that I've been a part of. The 17 Cougar Varsity Sports are members of Division Three and the NUMAC, which stands for the New England Women's and Men's Athletic Conference. For those a little less competitive, there are club and intramural sports offerings too. Hey sports fans, come hang out with the Cougars down at the Neller Athletic Center. Amenities include a gymnasium featuring basketball and racquetball courts, a pool and fitness center, as well as a field house for tennis, soccer, and other sports. Clark features eight residence halls and 14 houses. All first year and most transfer students live in first year experience halls. So you're required to live on campus the first two years um, and 
all of the first year students will be in first year residence halls. Uh, the really cool thing about that is all of our first year residence halls have just been renovated. So they have beautiful common spaces. Um, they have study rooms with TVs and, um, and computers inside of them and they're utilized a lot, both the common spaces and the study rooms. With over 120 student clubs and organizations, there's something for everyone. Students can take part in special interests and academic groups such as politics, religion, environment. You can also check out the a cappella group, the Clark Bars, or take advantage of the beautiful colors and hone your photography skills. of achievements by Clark alumni, professors, and staff are both diverse and impressive. Physics professor Robert Goddard performed rocketry experiments that ushered in the space age. President Theodore Roosevelt delivered the university's first public commencement address. Clark even had the honor of being the only American university that Sigmund Freud spoke at during his tour of the U.S. in 1909. Our motto is challenge convention, change our world. And, uh, you know, that really kind of seems like a, a cliche thing, but it, it's, it's the real deal here. Well, that's a wrap on Worcester, Massachusetts, home of Clark University. For University TV, I'm Natalie, and I'm going to go put this baby to good use. See you guys later.